let the wintry wipeout begin. Well, here she is. This is Mika, a star athlete from Wales. Mika can run 100 metres in 11.8 seconds, so by that reckoning, this will be a 25-second qualifier. I'm a sprinter and these are my tracks, and all you men better watch your back. She is a bit meek, is Mika, but never fear, this human dynamo means business. <laughs> oh, it says here she doesn't like getting her hair wet. Oh, well, that's a worry, because she's going to. Look, yeah, no choice. Where? Granny's house now. Uh, I, I forgot that 100 meter races don't normally feature people getting smashed in the face with a pie. Pity. What a useful practice. Mika to the balls now. 11.8 seconds. Oh, no. oh, 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 she's screaming. Oh, no. Oh, wow. mm. So close. Log jam there. No, no, don't do that. It's the form, so... Come on, Mika. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Ah, poor Mika. She's not having a great time. So, Meek Mika reaches the finish line in three minutes, seven. No records broken, and more importantly, no jerk strain. It's a relief. So, the final snowboard looks like this. Ross Not Fired sits at the summit. Interstellar Claire in fourth. Gemma the Horse Dentist in eighth. And just scraping through our Meek Mika, Ringkeeper Mark, and Oscar performance. The snow is falling, but who'll be first to join it? Remember, only the final five left hanging can go through to the next round. Snowy carousel of joy begins. And there they go. Oh, Mark's in trouble straight away. It's an early bath and an early flight home oh, for Mark. He got caught in his ring. OK, next six to topple are out of the competition as well. There's Jo in PR off her podium. Oh! And in. That's the end of the road for Jo. Oh, no, no, Jo! Still back to the game, and there's Ross not fired, making it look easy. Oscar oop, making it look difficult, but he's stayed on safe for now. Debian Fitness takes a hit. Oh, that's Oscar. Wow, he's... Oh, he's in. Oscar winning performance from... Oscar. Nine still hanging. Only five can go through. Oh, Mika! Meet Mika. Making a fuss, but still on. Oh, Debian Fitness is in trouble. Hannah as well. Oh, is that Debbie dunked? I don't... Oh, whoever it was, Hannah's joined them. <laughs> they are dropping like snowy flies. Right, well, if I've kept count correctly, the next two to fall are out of winter white. Oh, Maria! Maria getting a wallop. Oh, that's good Russian toughness. That's what that is. Oh, everyone's getting a pasting now. Maria is down and out. One more, guys! Just one more! Ski pole's getting higher now. Oh, oh Ross! Ouch. Oh, this is on a knife edge. It's Claire now. I keep on. I can't see a way back for Claire now. That's... Yeah, Claire is the last to be eliminated. So, five contestants remain to play for the dubious honour of being last man hanging. They are... Gemma. Tim. Mika. John. And Ross. Ski poles up somewhere around ear height now. They're all through to the next round, but no one is letting go. It's for honour, if not glory. Oh, that's Gemma, and she's staying on. Oh! Ow! Oh, John the Cherry Man's gone. And Ross, too. Gemma flying about again. Mika, you've got a bit of. Something on your... Oh, never mind. Not now. Yeah, sorry. So the contestants creep to a halt. Let the blundering begin. Yeah. And there they go. Ross. Oh, nice faceplant. Well done. 
Cherry Cherryman is first to the Frosty Flipper, straight onto the crankshaft for him. Those ice cubes offering extra niggle on an already niggleful course. Ooh, looking good. Ooh, ooh. There's Mika. Ooh, straight across. Ice cubes just bouncing off her. Ross and Gemma, neck and neck. Oh, no, Ross is in, and Gemma's in too. Synchronized swim back to the start. John making excellent progress. Just the Roterotator and Iceberg to go. Ooh, looks like he's struggling here. Uh-oh. <laughs> he's slipping back. And here's Mika already. Oh, no, he's in. I think he panicked. That means Mika has stolen the lead. Oh, 100-meter sprint. This is easy. Oh, leaps onto the iceberg, but it's this next jump that really counts. Hold tight, Mika! Take your time! The longer she stays, the dizzier she'll get. Doesn't know where she is. She's in Argentina, isn't she? Yeah. She's done it! Safely through to the next heat! So here they go again. Heat two, the decider. One of these four is about to be eliminated and miss out on today's wipeout zone by the tiniest of margins. Frustrating. It's sometimes easy to forget they all start this game very dizzy. Jem has just beaten that buckle to start. John and Mika both onto the flipper. John, I think edging ahead, is he? Oh. John just accepting those ice cubes. <laughs> just getting on with it. Pushing on his old nemesis, the Roterotator now. Uh oh, Mika. Mika's in trouble. Oh. John's obviously learned from his mistakes. And he's straight through to the wipeout zone. I want some of that cherry juice. It obviously works. Look at him go. Gemma bobbing about in the water. Mika on the crankshaft. But she's been overtaken by Ross. Can he snatch the second spot in the wipeout zone? He can, and very quickly indeed. Things looking dicey for Gemma now. Her only hope is that Mika mucks it up. But she's looking comfortable. Oh, onto the iceberg. Just one jump to go. Come on! Superb! Mika grabs the third and final spot in today's wipeout zone. And there she goes. Great dive from this Welsh athlete. Did you hear that little squeak like a mouse? So five minutes, one is the target. Mika quickly to the North Pole. Now let's see if she can do this in 11.8 seconds, eh, John? Onto the icy stairs. Now Mika's athleticism should help her here. Onto the second set. There she goes. Motivational talk. Mika slower than John at this point. Nearly at the summit. Well, she's steadily reached the top. Bit of jiggling. Now for the tricky descent. Oh. Just one more jump to the ice picks. Yes. Pass the first. Screaming. Oh. And the second. Oh, she's been hit! But Mika has stayed on. Now the all-important jump onto the Frightsicles. Oh, Mika! No, Mika! What is she doing? Picking her moment. Come on, you can! Yes, yeah, you can. You can do it. You can do it. She did it! Ah, oh, brave. Mika is at the middle. Running. And she's made it past the Frightsicles. And that's brought her some valuable seconds back. The impossible snowflakes now. Oh no, living up to the name. Mika didn't even get a grip on that snow-covered flake. It's a swim to the finish podium now. And then a climb. 
if Mika makes it to the top in one go, she will have beaten John. Come on, Mika! And she has, in 4 minutes 29, Mika's is now the time to beat. But there can only be one Winter Wipeout champion. And Ross, I'm afraid you just weren't quick enough. Mika, you are the Winter Wipeout champion! So, after that epic wipeout zone, Welsh athlete Mika Moore takes the gold. Which is actually not gold, it's kind of silvery in colour. Nevertheless, it's hers, along with the £10,000 prize.